Hello and welcome to 2025, it is brand new year and behind me I have basically all of X-Tool laser cutter machines. I have five different units that we're gonna go through today. I'm gonna to kind of take you through the pros and cons of each unit. I know in a new year, people are looking to either start a business, get into the hobby, so I thought this video would be helpful, kind of comparing all these machines and hopefully it helps you make a good decision. So let's get started. So behind me, I have the M1 Ultra along with the heat press. Now you can buy these separately, but they kind of go together. And this M1 Ultra is, the kind of crafting king. So what it does is it does a bu bunch of things. They kind of towed it as a four in one machine, but not only does it have, uh, you can do the laser cutting, but also it has an inkjet printer. You can do uh, blade work, so cut vinyl and stuff, as well as using markers or kind of drawing. So it does a lot of, uh, a lot of cool things, kind of jack of all trades type machine. And this is ideal for the crafter. Now the setup I have here does have the heat press along with the riser base, so you can do tumblers and stuff like that, as long as just having uh, more area to do your engraving or whatever you want to do on this machine. And it, it's kind of cool, it comes with these kind of like sticky pads, so for placing material, uh, whether it's cloth or, I mean, there, there's so much this machine can do, but uh, it has a, a, a ton of different options like that. So this machine does have that kind of modular system where it's really easy to kind of you just pop one thing off, say you got your laser head or whatever, and you can kind of switch them out really easy like that. The S1, as we'll get to next, also has that feature. So it's kind of, I feel like it kind of future-proofs the machine a little bit where if you decide, oh, I want a, a bigger laser head, more powerful, go from a 10 watt to 20 watt or whatever it might, might offer, you kind of have that uh, option to upgrade in the future, which is a, a big pro for this machine. So who is this machine really targeted to? This is targeted to the, the crafter. Now you could definitely run a crafting business with this machine. If you are focused just on laser cutting, I don't think this would be the machine for you. It, I believe you can get up to a 20 watt laser uh, module or head for this, but definitely the, the Exo offers more powerful machines than this M1 Ultra. But if you're just, as a hobby, love crafting, you want the versatility of doing a bunch of different things, such as the heat press or you know, add-ons, even the rotor you can do. Uh, this, this really is a great option. Now for pricing, now as I, for all these machines, when I talk about pricing, that's gonna be current pricing. This is January 2025, it definitely can vary. But this machine starts around $1,000. And depending on what extras you get, um, it kinda goes up from there, but current pricing, a grand, I think this is around $300 for the whole heat press uh, kit, but you can get different, just singular parts of that as well. So overall, I think this is a great machine, machine to start with. Now it does have the enclosure, so you don't have to, you know, protect your eyes and everything. And that's uh, for all these machines. X-Tool, I don't even know if they sell the D1 anymore, they probably do, but the open uh, frame laser, I've kind of got away from any open frame lasers. It's good to have the enclosure. And this one uh, with the riser base is completely sealed as well. So you're not gonna have any issues with that laser light uh, at all. So overall, uh, great machine, great crafting machine, also great first laser if you wanna get into it. So the X-Tool M1 Ultra. So next up, we have the X-Tool S1. Now, I'm not sure about X-Tool sale figures or anything, but I would guess that this is their most popular machine. And that's for a lot of different reasons. First, the price tag starting off, I think about 900 bucks. So that's, in my opinion, a really good value for what you get in this machine. Now, you might see open frame laser cutters by, I don't know, a bunch of other brands that go for a lot cheaper than that. But this comes already, you already have an enclosure for eye protection. You have uh, the air assist, and you also have a built-in exhaust fan. Now, when I first started off with lasers with the open frames, I basically had to include all of that. I had to build, build enclosure, set up exhaust, get that, uh, figure out a uh, air system for cleaner cuts. And X2 was kind of one of the first ones at the, I would say, consumer level uh, with the dial laser setup to include all this with the S1. Now looking inside the machine here, you have that uh, modular system again, where I have the 40 watt unit, but you can, I think, get a 10, a 20, the 40, and as well as, I believe, an IR uh, laser head as well. So very versatile. Um, the price really goes up when you get the, the bigger wattage uh, laser heads as well, but I believe that $900 price tag is where it starts off. But uh, for the cons of this machine, there aren't really a lot of them, but I know one of the biggest 
gripes people might have is it does not have a camera system. Now, as well as the M1 Ultra, this S1 without the camera system, it kind of uses, uh, you can, well, different points, but usually most people do a two-point positioning system. Uh, I have videos on that for the rotary for other things, but pretty basic system to use. For me, it works very well. The camera systems, and we'll look at some camera systems as we move on further with some of these other machines, but the camera system, if you're doing really small, like, they, they show you can engra uh, engrave a, a grain of rice or whatever. So I don't know how often you're doing that kind of stuff, but the camera system, you can really get, get right in there and get it super accurate. This uh, positioning system that these machines have, for me, for basic stuff, uh, works just fine. I don't really have any issues with that. So the camera is plus, it makes things quicker, but for me, that's definitely not a, a deal breaker for a machine like this. Now, a few things I have included with this S1, it does have the riser base. Now, this, uh, it's got the same compartment on the other side, so you could do the probably conveyor system, bigger sheets, you can slide all the way through. Now, I've heard maybe in other countries, I don't know if this is true, that the riser base might be different. It might not have this thing. And the only problem with this riser base, and I mentioned the, M, the M1 Ultra, it, the riser base is completely sealed, so you don't get any laser light. This, you have a little gap right here, and they have kind of some, uh, almost like weather stripping that comes with it, but I've, I have had issues with this fully enclosed, walking around the shop, and you kind of look over and you can see through that little gap. So uh, I think an easy solution is just run, a bead of, or run some tape there, uh, kind of block that light, but I don't know how you can kind of really avoid it with this setup where they want the pass through on both sides to not have that little gap. They could have, I don't know, they probably could figure something out. But uh, to me, the small design flaw, just want to be aware of that, that uh, put a piece of tape if you're, if you're laser cutting with that riser base. But with that being said, having the riser base, you can use uh, the rotary on this, works really well. And overall, um, it's, it's a really, really nice unit for the money. So that is the X-Tool S1. So next up we have the F1 series and we'll kind of go through both of these machines together. They're similar in a lot of ways and just kind of makes sense to do a little comparison here. But we have the X-Tool F1 and then the X-Tool F1 Ultra. Now these machines can do cutting but I definitely consider these engraving machines. Now as we just talked about the S1 behind me, that does both cutting and engraving and these machines all kind of do but uh, these ones specialize in engraving and they do it amazingly well. So starting with the F1 here, we have a 10 watt diode laser and a two watt IR laser. And basically when you're dealing with wattages and these numbers, basically the bigger the number, the faster you can do it. And especially with the cutting machines make a big difference with the higher wattage where you get a lot cleaner cut. But these engraving machines, basically both of these, even the lower power F1, engraves amazingly fast. Now, as you can see, the F1 is pretty tiny. As you can see my hand here, it's smaller than my hand. But for a lot of things that you are engraving when you really think about it, it really isn't a huge issue having a smaller space to engrave. Another thing about the F1 that actually I like better than the F1 Ultra, and basically the F1 Ultra, as we kind of go through this here, it's basically better in, in every way. Uh, but you're also paying a premium for that convenience. But the one thing I really do like about the regular F1 is just the small size. It's got the handle, easy to pick up. And another huge thing I, I like is you have this little plate on the bottom that just pops right out. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to pop in all kinds of jigs to make la laser engraving e even easier. Now with these jigs, it makes repeat engraving a breeze. Like this, you can do business card, dog tags, pencils, and you can just keep doing them over and over. It goes super fast with that process. And with that little thing that pops out, it makes it uh, nice and secure. You don't really have to do too much. But this also, I have jigs for this as well, for the F1 Ultra. And that, that works really well. You just have a couple of set screws. Now these all have, both these machines have uh, th all these threaded holes, which makes it really convenient holding down pieces uh, for these jigs or if you have any other things. And these jigs I do sell in my Etsy shop too. I'll provide that link. So really appreciate it when people, if you do have these machines, you uh, check out a jig. So appreciate that. So now with the regular F1, you don't have that camera system to kind of see what you're doing, but it does have a framing feature where it highlights what you're going to frame or what you're going to about to engrave. So that does a really accurate job. So 
Once again, with the camera system, with this F1 Ultra has, uh, not a huge deal in my mind with, uh, with the regular F1, kind of getting things aligned. For me, the biggest, uh, the biggest pro on this F1 Ultra is just the capacity, the size. I mean, you can, this is, I don't know, about four times it looks like the, the um, square footage or square inches or whatever to, that you're able to engrave on this machine compared to this one. Another thing about comparing these two machines, it's not just the size necessarily of the bill plate, but also the height. So you're gonna be uh, limited to how tall of an item you can do with the regular F1. But what is cool about having this removable plate is you can, uh, you can lift it up. Now I do make a riser base as well that you can kind of set it on and kind of hold it there to get, if you're doing tumblers or larger items, um, because you are gonna be limited to that height. But with this, you definitely have a lot more, uh, a lot more area. And I'm not gonna get into super specific details because I don't know them off the top of my head how tall these uh, machines can engrave, but definitely when you check it on the website, they're gonna have all that inf information for you. Now we talked about this F1, 10 watt diode and two watts infrared. Now this is a 20 watt diode and a 20 watt fiber laser. So what that means is you're gonna be, with that 20 watt fiber, you're gonna be able to, material, metals, uh, you can emboss on this thing. I mean, you can do a ton of really cool stuff with this, with this machine, as well as it does have that camera system. So you're gonna be able to very quickly just uh, line up what you're gonna engrave. And kind of like I said, it does, does have uh, this, this screen on top too for, for starting and kind of see what, what you're gonna be engraving. But kind of like I mentioned earlier, this, this one is better in every other, in every way basically, besides I do like having that removable base plate on the F1. But with all that being said, you're definitely paying a premium for the F1 Ultra. Now, currently this one I think starts around 1200 bucks for the F1, and this is 3600. So you're looking at almost three times the price to go from the F1 to the F1 Ultra. So basically a, a quite a big jump. Now, to me, this is definitely probably a machine if you own a business or you're doing stuff like that. I mean, huge ba base plate, like so this is a jig for dog tags do 15 at a time and just crank them out. And the thing about these machines for engraving compared to like the S1 or uh, the M1 Ultra as we went over, for engraving, those machines have, they're kind of swinging back and forth. And it's, I'm not saying it's a slow process, but these things are just lightning fast. I'm not, I'm not sure the proper name of the laser head, but it just moves so fast up here that your engraving just, it's, I mean, it's done within seconds, usually a lot of small engraving. So, both these machines, I would say, uh, for engraving, they're just incredible. You're just gonna have to decide on your own whether it's worth three times as much to do the F1 Ultra. Uh, both are great machines. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be the F1 and the F1 Ultra. All right, so I feel like I saved the best for last, but here we have the X-Tool P2S. So this P2S is unique to the rest of the machines that we just looked at because this is the only machine that has a CO2 laser. Now what that means is a CO2 laser is you're gonna have, it's a 55 watt, you're gonna have incredible power, you're gonna have the speed to cut and engrave very quickly, and for mass production, that is key. Now opening up the system, we look inside, is you're gonna have uh, the laser head here. You're gonna have a two camera system, so it's got kind of a wide angle camera, so just kind of initially you can kind of take a look at your workspace, take a picture of that, but it also has another camera where you can uh, focus in real nice and tight. We talked about that uh, engraving the grain of rice earlier on in this video. Well, that's what this camera system is gonna be. It's gonna be super, super accurate, as well as you're gonna have auto measuring. So it's gonna know exactly the height of the material you're doing, which this all just adds up to this, uh, the speed of the process for all this stuff. Now, what does the CO2 laser mean? It basically means there's a big laser tube in the back. You're gonna have water and antifreeze, depending on how cold your space is, in this back of the machine. You're also gonna have some mirrors. Now, there is a little bit of maintenance upkeep compared to, say, a diode laser, which you basically don't have to really do anything. Uh, it's very minimal upkeep with the mirror system or whatever, but you wanna make sure they are aligned, so there's a little uh, fiddling around with that, uh, especially when you first get started. Uh, my experience, as long as you're not like hitting, hitting it once you get it set up, that you're good to go. But basically, this is uh, X-Tools premier, I guess, machine, is what I would consider it, is you're gonna have 
all the bells and whistles, uh, built-in air assist, you're gonna have, what else, built-in fan. Also with the P2S, they have a P2 and a P2S. Now the P2S has a few upgrades, you're gonna have the removable fan in the back there um, for easy cleaning and stuff. Also with the Ultra machines and, and uh, the newer machines like that, there is uh, AP2, it's an um, air filtration system. So the new machines, uh, AP2 is gonna be able to hook right up and it's gonna be automatically detect what machine, what materials and everything you're doing. So it's gonna run at the correct speed. So you're kind of feature proofing with the P2S compared to the P2. I think right now there's a $300 difference between the two. So up to you whether you wanna, uh, if those upgrades are, are worth that extra price. Now, as I mentioned, this is a 55 watt CO2 laser. Now for the dial laser, the, bigger, the biggest ones they have, as far as I know, is a 40 watt. So might not sound a big difference going from the 40 watt diode to the 55 watt CO2, but my real world experience is this is way faster, way cleaner cuts uh, with the CO2 55 watt. It, seems, it doesn't seem like just a 55 or 15% jump. So uh, also engraving is really nice on this machine. Now the dial lasers do do a really nice job of engraving. And even the smaller dial lasers, I feel like those are probably like the peak engraving things if you can dial in the settings. So you do suffer maybe a little bit just for the crispness of engraving as far as like woods and materials like that. But also with the CO2, uh, another big benefit for, for some people is doing the clear acrylic. Now the dial machines can do acrylics depending on what color. I've had issues with white on the dial machine, like not just clear. I've had some issues with different colors, but the CO2, it doesn't care. <laughs> just, uh, just zaps right through it. So really, really cool feature like that doing uh, materials like clear acrylic. Now this P2S is at the top of the price range. It starts, starts off at $4,000 and I, really, I don't think there's a lot of add-ons you, you upgrade with a machine like this. It basically comes with everything. Uh, that you would need. There is a riser base that, that you could get and probably a few other things. I don't know, they have a, they, they have a lot to, to offer, but really for four grand, you get an incredible machine that really for business starters, uh, you're, you're basically ready to go with this machine. Everything's included and you can get going very quickly with, especially with the XTool software where in my opinion, they really specialize on making it simple for um, the new user for the machines. It hooks right up. It, designed only for X-Tool machines, so uh, you don't have any uh, issues with that. So with that being said, this is the X-Tool P2S. All right, so there you have it. I didn't want to make this video too long, so I kind of did a quick run through of all these machines. Basically, all these machines, there's so much more that I can cover in uh, this video, but hopefully that kind of gives you a little bit of a breakdown between uh, the pros and cons of each one. Now, if you have any questions, please leave them in that comment section below. Uh, I'd also like to hear what machine you have or what machine out of these five that you'd be really interested in getting. Kind of curious about that, what the audience is, is interested in. And if you are looking to buy one of these machines, I'll leave my coupon code uh, affiliate link. It really helps the channel, it doesn't cost you any more. Gives you the best price and you get a little bit of money off too as well. So appreciate that. Also provide my Etsy link. If you have one of these machines already and you want to get a jig, I appreciate that as well. So as always, I'm Chad from Chad DIY and we'll see you on the next one.